Okay, here we go. Another Mitsubishi. This customer brought in two of them. This one is an HSU 58. Let's go ahead and power this thing on, see what happens. And I do get a clock display. That's good. Let's hit the power button. Nothing happens. Let's try to put a tape in it and see what it's going to do. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Take a listen to this. Maybe it just needs a loading belt. Well, let's go ahead and get the mechanism up and out of this thing and see what it looks like on the bottom side where the loading motor lives. Well, there's a hint of the carnage. No, that's not grease. That's belt. And I bet you if I just barely touch this. Oh, yeah, look at that. It just turns into goo. Oh, nasty. These things are going straight in the trash can. And here's a look at the bottom of the mechanism. There's the goo that made those swirl marks. That is an old belt that has just deteriorated. And then here is where the loading belt used to live. There's actually still part of it on the pulley, although it's gonna make a freaking mess. Look at that, I can't even get it out. It's just, oh, I don't wanna to touch it because this stuff is worse than never sees. And then it might be hard to see, but there's still some belt on the pulley. And I bet you it's going to end up the exact same way. Ooh, maybe it'll come off peacefully. I don't really want to touch it. Oh, oh, yeah. Just nasty. Straight in the trash can. So, more likely than not, it's just going to need a couple of belts. And a really, really good cleaning to get all this goo because it is nasty nasty off of the pulleys this is just from lightly touching the belt barely touched it at all and i've got this black stuff on my hands that might be there for the next month well there is the loading gear with all of its belt goo being gloriously displayed there's the loading motor right there with the goo stuck all over it from the melting belts. And I'm gonna pull the motor out, pull the gear out, hit it with a bunch of acetone, and hopefully it'll come clean. Well, I got all the pulleys cleaned up pretty good, but this damage to my finger, my thumb, and my hand might be there for a minute or two. Anyhow, these are looking pretty good, so I am going to go ahead and add a droplet of oil because I did clean the oil off of that. Just hit it with a little fine machine oil. And unfortunately, I can't get access to the bottom of this to add a droplet of oil, so we'll just have to deal with the top bushing only. Put a cotton swab down in here to wick up the excess. That way it doesn't migrate onto the belt. Okay, well, I did find my PRB cross-reference, and it shows that I need an SCA 3.0, which you should see on your screen right now, and an SCA 10.5. So I do have a couple of new old stock belts right here. This one is a three inch belt. And this one is a 10.5 inch belt. So I do have the belts in stock to repair this unit. I just need to tackle the goo, get that goo off. So we'll try just scraping a lot of it off with a paper towel, just dry and see how much actually comes off here. Probably gonna get a fair amount of it off just by like digging. Oh, yeah, got a pretty good amount right there. So we'll do this a couple of times and then we'll start hitting it with acetone and cotton swabs and see if we can get quite a bit more. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Well, some of it came off at least, but it's smearing a lot of it around. So yeah, it's going to be a mess. So I think I'm going to take a shortcut and try to remove the C-clip right here. Hopefully it doesn't go flying too terribly far. And then that should allow me to just remove the whole rotor assembly of the capstan motor and I can actually give it an acetone bath. Okay, here we go. Power on. Let's try to put a tape in it, see what's gonna happen. Well, so far so good. Let's hit play. And by all outward appearances, it's working. So let this play for a few seconds. And I'll get a video capture device set up and show you that it is actually playing. Okay, tape's in it. Let's hit play. I have the capture device set up right here. And it does show that it is recording. Hopefully it continues to record. And that's an SLP tape, a six-hour tape. And it looks as good as the six-hour tape is going to look. So I think this might be a successful repair. So I'm going to go ahead and do a complete tape path cleaning and then put this thing back together and get it ready to send back to my customer. This was a local drop off. It was brought in. It wasn't shipped in. So it is a local customer. Anyhow, everything looks great. I certainly hope you enjoyed the repair on the HSU 58. My hands may never recover from the crud that was on those belts. Anyhow, Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. I really do appreciate it. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. That is the best way to contact me. Please be patient. I have a full-time job and I do these repairs in my spare time. 
Remember, with your help, we can try to get these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everyone, thank you for making it to the end of this video. Once again, I really do appreciate it. Everyone, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. This one is an HSU 5... Really right now? Effing things not opening the door. Seriously?